back to this. I was walking through the thrift store, and I had been looking for 40 minutes or so. Uh, I found a lot of stuff that I thought I maybe was going to get, and then I put back, and then I walk around and then change my mind again and find stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then I was just kind of moving stuff around, and I moved this, like, guitar, padded guitar case over, and this was under it. And it was kind of like a special little moment where I was like, oh, cool, I found, finally had a camera. Never heard of a Jazz 206 ever. Um, has a pretty similar uh, design to the Olympus uh, Mew cameras um, in the sense that it actually, even though it feels really sh crappy, um, it has a little bit of a weight to it, so it makes it feel a little more substantial. Um, but it has like a similar little design and something that is nice about it that I like is if you open this and then you turn the flash on and it charges and then you're like okay I'm done you don't have to remember to shut the flash off like some cameras you have to push it back down or you have to press a button some of them you know you can just turn off and it's fine but this when you slide it shut it pushes this little lever which pushes the flash button over too so it's just a little lever that goes Burp. And gets pushed back in so it shuts the flash off for you automatically which is really cool um, and it has a little panoramic mode and a little normal mode so it just has the two little like ch things that close down and pan panorama mimize your photo I guess um, by cropping it in camera so it's not real panorama but it's pretty cool and it has this crappy little um, latch here that you pull down it has film in it right now so I won't do it but you can feel how crappy it is. It's not like a push and the door pops open and anything. It almost feels like you're trying to open a cereal box or something. Um, but I also really like that the advanced knob is on the bottom and on the left. So when I'm going to shoot and I fire, my hand is already here. If I want, I can just throw it up real quick or it's already here and I just do it and I'm good to go. And I don't, I mean, this is the thumb advance up here is nice too. I just like how it's a little bit less conventional. It's in a different spot. Um, that's kind of fun to me. Uh, another thing that's uh, kind of weird is how hard it is to push down the, the shutter button. Um, it has a lot of resistance and I always feel like I'm gonna break it when I'm pushing it down, but it always works. Uh, I, I've sh shot nine photos on here so far out of 24. So always works is kind of an overstatement, but it works, um, and once I develop this, I'll see how much it actually works, but it's always, it just feels a little finicky, like something's gonna break or something is up. Uh, so there's that also. Um, I like that the frame counter's on the bottom. It's a little recessed, and it's just this tiny little window there. Nice, um, next to the rewind button. And then also, one of the other weirdest things about this camera, um, it has a little wrist strap thing here which is fine, I'm not gonna use that. I just throw it in my pocket, take it out, take a photo, whatever. Um, but is this little rewind knob, I thought it was broken when I first picked it up, but it's not. You A really easy way to deal with it and open it um, is there's like a tiny little bump here. If you push it, this little piece comes out and then it pops out like that. And you can just rewind it like that, but then also if you want, there's this extra piece that comes out, which is so weird. It's like a transformer action figure or something. Um, so it does this weird little thing like that. Um, and it has this little pin in here. So this, this pivots and it's kind of wacky. I don't know why they made it so long. It's like, um, but it works. Uh, I rewound the film. This is going to have some double exposed images, I think, but I rewound the film to open it up and test the shutter uh, when I first got it. So it does work. It does feel a little finicky. Um, I don't know if I trust it. Uh, I have to get to know it a little bit better first. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool camera. It has a 27 millimeter lens, uh, which is really cool. It's pretty wide. Um, I mean, the widest I've ever shot is 21 millimeter, but on a point and shoot, never, never that wide. Usually 35 or like 32 or something weird. Um, but yeah, anyways, 27 millimeter lens, pretty cool. 
Uh, takes one AA battery for the Flash. The Flash is pretty powerful, I think. Um, and there's some really cool example photos on Lomography. Um, if you just type in this camera, you'll get some pretty cool examples. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would check out this camera. If you come across one at a thrift store, definitely pick it up. Uh, you might have some fun with it. Uh, it's definitely not worth trying to sell, I don't think. Uh, but to use and to just have with you and just to have to throw around. Um, you'll probably get some cool results. So that's it, the Jazz 206. Check it out.